right. Perfect. So hi, y'all. I am Shanique and I'm here with Blavity's Shadow and Act. Super excited about Baker's Dozen. So let's hop right in. So first things first, I want to know from you, Tamara, how would you say baking is a way to bring us all together in times like what's going on in the world right now? Well, I mean, one, I am, I'm all about love. And when I bake, I am putting that act of love into, you know, something physical that someone else can, you know, can, the, the recipient receives it. When I bake, or even just when you smell, I think that was one of the most fun things too. Every day, I knew we were just going to walk into this tent and smell, you know, yumminess. It just makes you feel warm. It, it you know, it, it makes you feel good. Um, I'm also about unity. And the thing about baking is that anybody can bake. Anybody can bake if you learn, if you put your mind to it. We realized a lot of our contestants who maybe just started baking, they learned from YouTube. That's something that I didn't have <laughs> when I was, you know, younger. I, you know, I have my amazing mom, but I, I, I thought that was so cool. And these bakers, I mean, they were amazing and they learned from YouTube. Pretty cool. I love it. I love it. And Bill, can you talk a little bit about how Baker's Dozen is different from all cooking shows, all cooking competitions that we've ever seen? Yeah, well, uh, the idea of uh, home bakers and professionals competing, I think, is one thing. And um, and uh, spoiler alert is that it's not always the professional that uh, that you know <laughs> wins. And that this show in particular, people, all of us through through um, the pandemic and quarantine, uh, these people really learned a lot. Um, the other thing about this show that really stands out is the number of completed cakes that appear on this show. I've never seen so many beautiful creations from, oh my gosh, all walks of life from animals to spaceships to castles. And uh, these are things that the contestants put together in just um, you know, a short period of time in a kitchen that they didn't even know. You know, it's a, it's a fresh space for them finding like the water faucet and the flour and the sugar. Mm -hmm. So they, they just created uh, amazing, aesthetic, beautiful creations. I love it. And both of you guys are bakers, um, both professional and self-taught. But let's start with you, Tamara, with what did you learn the most from this experience? Like being a part of this experience, what did this teach you? I mean, I know we've heard this saying, never judge a book by its cover. You know, we we're, we're taught that, and sometimes, and this is me being vulnerable. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes subconsciously we you know can still can still think that way. And I the 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 contestants, you know, starting out, the bakers starting out, you may think, oh, she's gonna win, she's got this down, she's quick, she's confident, or he, um, and then boom. It changes. I taught that um, slow and steady kind of, you know, wins the race. So kind of, you know, pace yourself. Um, if you're in a competition, sometimes when you come out just like with, you know, all this energy and you, you, you maybe can tire yourself out. So if that is how you want to compete, make sure you stay that way. Make sure that you can, you can handle that. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's one of the things that that I learned immediately by uh, judging and and hosting and watching these amazing bakers. Absolutely. And how about you, Bill? Yeah, I think that resilience is the um, that's the real lesson that we learned. You can never guess from the first opening challenge who's going to make it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people just created an amazing uh, piece work of art. And then they just kind of crumble later on. And, and the person that was sort of just barely squeaked through turns out to be the winner. Yep. So um, yeah, it makes for good television because it's kind of a cliffhanger. And then people just like emerge, uh, you know, with this incredible ability 
um, that they that they come up with under pressure. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I really did like that. I was able to screen a few episodes, and I love it so much. I can't wait to have my mom and my nana watch it too. So oh, thank cool. you guys so much, and um, Tamara, thank you because I watched you growing up, <laughs> and yeah. you know, like so much, so much with sister, sister, and my curly hair and everything. Oh, it really impacted yeah. me. <laughs> I just had to say thank you. Oh, um, so best of luck on this season, and you guys have a great day. Thank, Thank you, Shanique. You so much, Shanique.